Greetings, Dennis Daniels here. This is a quick demonstration of how uh, to translate in real time audio from video using Google Translate. Uh, clear this. I'm going to try and translate the Russian. There's any background noise is going to interfere with the tra translation, but it does almost work. Uh, I've set it to Russian to record for Russian. I click on the speech input and you can see that the uh, speak now thing is moving uh, it's picking up my English don't want that now I'm gonna play the uh, video there's this is a very loud uh, Russian news clip uh, with lots of background noise so the translation may not be very good Стрельбы града может составлять до 40 километров, однако это оружие не считается высокоточным при применении на большие расстояния. Okay, so um, clearly they're not talking about a musical 40 kilometers, but it is not considered when applying for long distances. Uh, so the translation in Russian is weak at best but might give you a general idea as to what they're talking about. Let's try one in English. Clear this. And we'll go with uh, yeah, BBC. See what they have to say. It's going to be British English, obviously. And what we do have is apparently a confirmation from the Ukrainian government from a you have is a okay so here we go we're going to translate from English to English funny enough well why does it keep doing that okay I guess it's wants to so I'm going to turn on speech input turn on speech input. okay let's see it works pretty well now let's try it with the video. And what we do have is apparently a confirmation from the, U the Ukrainian government. Okay, picked up the last part. From a, uh, a official in the Interior Ministry uh, confirming through the Interfax News Agency locally that the plane did crash. Now, okay, it's not. Maybe it's not loud enough. You didn't pick up anything that time. Let's try again. Well, of course, we don't know the circumstances. Um, there are any number of possibilities here, but it should be said. All right, so it's not actually picking it up very well, uh, which is curious. There is some background noise here, which is causing further in uh, further conflict with the translation but uh, go ahead and play with the uh, automatic translation it does seem to keep recording uh, and you can see over here it's trying to it's trying to uh, translate what I'm saying in real time which is curious. I wonder how long it will allow me to continue speaking. It seems like I could continue talking for some time. It doesn't recognize punctuation and there are obvious errors. However, it does seem to be not too bad. Let's hope that uh, Google will continue to improve upon this. Thank you for your time and happy computing.